Hey guys, Mega Man NG here, and it's that time of the week again. It's time now for another Ace Attorney anime review. Before I begin explaining my thoughts on this week's episode, I do want to address something. I know that a lot of you guys want to be guests on my future anime episode reviews and the like, and I had one in mind with a friend, but unfortunately something went wrong and I have left little choice to make this. Joseph, if you see this video, I'm very sorry. We did our best trying to get this review up, but yeah, it kind of got a bit messy. I will be explaining how you can be part of it at the end of the video. So, for anyone that's interested, make sure you head to the end, and I'll explain everything you guys to a T. Anyway, let's get ourselves started. This week, we're going to be talking about episode 19, Turnabout Big Top, Second Trial. And believe me, there is so much for me to say that it's insane. This episode was crazy. It really was because I thought the entire episode was going to be about the trial. But no, they didn't do that. Instead, what we got here was that we have like not one, but two trial bits in the episode. One in the beginning and one at the end that's setting up for next week covering the conclusion. Turn about Big Top last trial. In the middle of it all is a massive investigation bit that seems to serve as a huge info dump. And the info dump is without a doubt insane. Like, say like 14 or 15 minutes of the episode devoted to that. I think it's around like 13, 14 minutes, but man what an info dump that was. But for anyone who plays the games, you would definitely have an idea of what's going to happen next. However, for those that don't, this is just right out of left field, and the pacing was just like all over the place. Not to mention at the beginning of the trial, the pacing was fast, because it went straight to Detective Gumshoe testifying to the clown, and at least the clown was a bit more bearable this time. I am happy for that. Of course, at the end, Acro takes the stand, and believe me, it's not going to end well. We also do learn about why, why Francisca Von Karma is doing this, because remember, Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. And yes, I can see that as a reason for justifying justifying and everything, but that's only just a sign of what his eventual return in the fourth and final case. Farewell, my turnabout. But I can't say the episode was alright. I really did enjoy it. It was quick at best. We did get some exposition, and I mean plenty of exposition. Not to mention it helps set things up for next week, which is going to be even more insane. And yeah... I know some people are going to be upset regarding the lack of Magatama, but truthfully, I don't think it's going to be needed here since we get a lot in a short amount of time. Though, I wish they would have just put more time into it. If they did, it would have made things a heck of a lot easier. And honestly, it would have been a bit better. But for plot contrivances, I think I'm happy with how it is. We do get to meet Acro though, who is basically one of the two acrobatics, along with his brother, Bat. And I feel kind of bad for him. You guys already know how this is going to end, but I'm just going to say that it's a case like this where I shouldn't be happy. I mentioned this already when I did my playthrough of Justice for All, but I am going to say that I'm, I feel sorry for him. I, feel, I really do feel sorry for everyone involved in this case. Someone in my comments actually said the first rule of Turnabout Big Top, you do not talk about Turnabout Big Top. And that is obviously for the best. But... I can understand as to why a lot of people really dislike this case. I can really, really understand why. But overall, this episode was alright in my opinion, and I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. There really wasn't that much that was like interesting or a spot out, other than the fact that at one scene, Phoenix Wright thought he was going to get eaten by the tiger. And that was just like hilarious and scary at the same time. Not to mention, some parts of it were just rather emotional, like with what happened to Bat. And we know that he's in a coma, but in the games it was explained that, yes, he suffered some brain damage. Fortunately, we'll learn as to what happened next week, since Acro takes the stand, and the ending was a shock. The ending was a shock with Phoenix Wright accusing Acro of being the murderer. That's just right out of left field. I really didn't see this coming, but I know these guys want to just finish this case so that way we can move on to the good stuff. So, we'll see how this goes. I am officially giving Turnabout Big Top Second Trial, aka Episode 19, a 7 out of 10. It is a good episode, don't get me wrong, but I swear the info dump on it was just ridiculously insane. It was ridiculously insane. But I only hope that next week's episode makes up for it, especially since we're almost at the end. Yes, there aren't that many episodes left in Ace Attorney anime, and after that we're going to be getting a different anime altogether. 
I don't really know if we're going to be getting a second season, so I don't really know for sure. The only thing I hope is that if we do get a second season, Capcom better provide them a bigger budget. They better provide A1 Pictures a bigger, a bigger budget so that way we can actually have much better episodes. And I know some people may not like it, but I do have to commend that the anime does take some liberties. And honestly, that to me is a good thing. So, anyway, that's it for my Ace Attorney anime review for episode 19. I originally was going to bring in a guest, but something went mad wrong and I have to do it solo. Not to mention, Joseph, if you get this, I'm very sorry that this happened. And yeah, I hope this can be remedied or fixed somehow in the future. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys next week for when I cover the conclusion to Turnabout Big Top. Turnabout Big Top, last trial. And if you want to be even more awesome, please be sure to check out my Patreon as well. My Patreon is linked in the description. All it takes is $1. And remember, Patreon is optional. So if you want to help out and give something back, you can. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next week when we cover the conclusion to turn about Big Top. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Peace out. Good day! All right, now let's go to the meat of the whole thing. As I mentioned already, I was going to have a guest for the Ace Attorney Enemy Review, but something went mad wrong, and it just, it kind of got messed up, so I had no choice but to make this. But this is a message to anyone that wishes to be a guest for my anime reviews, whether it be Ace Attorney, TMNT, or the upcoming Flash Season 3. So, here's something that you guys need to know. If you guys want to be a guest, I've already listed all the information you need in the description below. First things first, you need to make sure you need to get Audacity. Because Audacity is necessary if you want to like have, have like this dual collaboration or that sort of thing. Number two, make sure you install the lame MP3 encoder. You need the MP3 encoder in order so that when you're done with Audacity and everything, you can be able to like extract it as an MP3 file. It makes it so much easier and it saves file space. Number three, make sure you have a good microphone, like a Blue Yeti or something. Something that can at least be connected via USB. And number four, make sure you have a pair of earphones. It's needed to negate background noise. And negating background noise is essential because it's also easier for me when I do editing. So those are the four steps. If you can follow them to a T, feel free to send me to a PM when I do like another upcoming episode anime or, or, or whatnot. And I'll see what I can do. All right? Because remember, guys, I got a life outside of doing this. I have other priorities, other things to take care of. And it's not going to be pretty, pretty easy. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week for when I do another episode. Oh, and see you guys tomorrow for the return of the TMNT Quick Episode Reviews. It's been months, and I'm looking forward to doing them again. All right, this is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace.